I have just explained you what is stash and how to create stash and how to retrieve stash. And we have done that in terminal. Now let me show you how to do that pretty fast and easy using GitHub Desktop. And let's assume that we are still in TEM branch and there are some changes in the same files, bakers.md and readme.md. And let's assume that now I want to go to another branch and for example I want to check out pull request, this one. And if I'll try to do that, I'm actually trying to switch to another branch because each pull request is actually bound to specific branch, GitHub Desktop will offer me choice, either leave my changes on temp branch or bring my changes to PR slash 10879. Let's choose first option, leave my changes on temp. And in such case, my work will be stashed on this branch and afterwards, when I will return back to this temp branch, Git will allow me to retrieve changes from stash. Let's leave my changes on temp branch and let's click switch branch. Branches were switched and now I am on this branch and now you see no changes here in this branch. But let's suppose that I have decided to get back to temp branch. Let's click here, go to branches and click on temp branch. GitHub desktop will show me that there are stashed changes. And I can actually view stash by clicking on this button. View stash. And here is actually stash. Here are changes in two files. And I can either discard this stash or restore it. And let's suppose that I want to restore this stash and reapply it to temp branch. I can just simply click on this button, restore. And now I see those changes back again. That's how you can easily and fast create stash and restore stash using GitHub Desktop. Okay, that's all about stashing and uh, it is actually useful when you have unsaved, uncommitted work and you want to continue work on other features and afterwards get back to original feature and proceed there. Okay, that's all for this lecture and that's all actually about stashing. And in the next lecture I would like to talk about garbage collection and uh, I'll show you how you're able to run garbage collection on demand manually from terminal. I'll see you next. Bye-bye.